I gotta do a video on CETX as this is coming to be probably the longest EMA5 I've ever seen. <clears throat> this is pretty long. I, I've seen some other ones that are got close to this, but um, if we see this chart right here, you know, we had this massive drop off. You know, we were way up here at the you know, almost $11 range, and now we're sitting at $0.29. Cents. So I can see why a lot of retail traders like it. Um, I am up on this trade. I made money multiple times. You can see throughout the Discord here when I did the um, swing trade alerts here. And you can get access to this if you want. It's down in the YouTube comments below. And um, you can see all throughout here, CTX over 20% right here, trend the profits, EMA5. Uh, was going to get hit um, as that's my target here. And I, I, I scalped, you know, sold CTX pre-market rinse and repeat, and I just kept scalping and uh, rinsing and repeating it. So um, <clears throat> very nice. Yeah, it, it's been very nice. Right now I have an average of 29 cents. There was really no reason to add to it as I only like to add when it's, uh, you know, when, when my average goes lower. But let me just show you guys why I think, you know, fair very conservative gain at this region here you can make your 10 percent again i probably made over 50 percent on this one but as you can see we haven't touched the ema5 since this candle here on 1002 well if you count these candles here anything that I don't touch in seven daily candles is considered long and we are way below this atr4 so it just makes me wonder like wow this i mean i haven't seen an ema5 this way under it so it just makes me wonder but uh, if you look at this, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 daily candles not hitting this EMA5. I think this is the world. I I, I think this is the longest I've ever seen. I, I I, I can't remember something not hitting it longer than this. So uh, 17 daily candles. Uh, what is the room up to the EMA5? I think it can go way over the EM, way over this EMA5, but you got to understand is we haven't hit the EMA5 in a very long time, so this is going to act as resistance. <clears throat> so <clears throat> for a very conservative game, yes, you're looking at 11% right here down at these lows here. So uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's very safe to accumulate in this area. You can obviously see we're in this range. Um, we're very tight. And this is where you get the biggest moves. Where I think I'm willing to make the most money is going to be those pre-market spikes. That, that is when this stock runs, after hours pre-market, anything other than that. Um, uh, during the market hours, it is a little harder here. So we had these little spikes here, right? We had this uh, this big spike here where, where I took a lot of my uh, position off. And then we got back in again and we had this spike. Um, we didn't get in this one, and the reason why is because of they did the uh, reverse split announcement. And I like to buy like after hours, just in case they do like a sneaky like news after hours. That's where I look. But even if you did get on this, you would have bought the next day, and then you would have um, easily broke even or gained some rate on that spike there. So uh, the, the the thesis is pennies are very speculative. All right, they are a lot harder than bigger cap stocks. Nobody can tell you exactly where they are going to go. We just know what's abnormal, and that's literally what trading is. You play a probability game. Um, what I, I I really and, and what this system is, we know what our price targets are. We know we only buy when we're at this ATR four, which is my settings for this green band here. And then not only that, we don't just get in right away. We wait for time distance away from the EMA5. And that time distance really helps us not just catch a falling knife when it's very big selling pressure, right? Right in here was a good area to buy. As you can see, all throughout this area, we were selling the pre-market spikes. You can look at, you know, look, look at the intraday chart in here. Um, you can look at what's through the hour so we can get through this faster. You can see, look out, look all throughout here. You know, you have this big spike here. From this low to here was a 32%. You had this big spike here. Um, from these lows to here, another 36%. They do happen, and this was an, um, a pre-market spike. Look at this massive spike happen here, another 30%. So, I mean, they're all throughout here happen, but you got to understand is don't get greedy with pennies. You know, even if it runs 100% and you sell out 10%, that's totally fine. This was another massive spike from the low of 40s to 70s. <clears throat> And then even this one spike here, you know, they, they do happen. But as you can see, we are under the EMA 20 on a on an intraday time frame. Look at this. To a T, just like how we look at lower uh, higher time frames, where do we respect? 
The algos take it to this EMA 20 and then they come tumbling back down. Um, you'll see this all throughout the charting. You know, where do we respect? The EMA 20. We get close to it and we come tumbling down. And that is considered your downturn. Till we stay above this area, you know, not just a recent spike here, but staying above it, multiple candles, then it's an uptrend. But as you can see all throughout here, you know, we just can't hold this um, uptrend. We just keep coming back down. And that is the same thing I'm trying to sell you guys on the daily. We are going to revert to the mean. What that reversion to the mean is, is the EMA 5, 10, and 20. That 20 is not going to get hit for a very long time. Usually when you see bigger drops, the EMA 5 is going to be longer time distance. So um, do keep that in mind. But I like this stock. I, I don't think it's, honestly, the people who have way, averages way up in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 90s, a dollar. Yeah, it's a, it's a terrible stock as, you know, try to refine your entry. It's okay to take a loss. Just remember, like, you know what, this is... This is just me learning from this experience. And where I really took the biggest position, I want to show you guys this. If you ever see a K value less than one, like um, you can see on these three candles here, on this oscillator, we had a 97, a 73, and a 54. And then how convenient we get this big move up. And I call that the dead cat bounce to refresh this KDJ. So um, a lot of things I use that be like, okay, wow, this is good. But anybody that said, I have to hit that EMA5, I'm just going to hold for that you would have missed out on all these gains and then you would have had a negative account um, right in here because you would have been up like 20, 30% and then now you're down 20, 30% because you didn't take these gains. So uh, yeah, Kurzura target is that. And then I think the next target is this ATR4, which is an 80% spike. I, I've never seen an ATR4, this green band, this above the price like that, um, especially when the EMA5 is this low. So this is a unicorn one. It's one of the longest I've seen not touch an EMA5. So I repeat, um, if you do have a higher average, I would definitely, hint, hint, buy some more of this so you can get, you know, because this is going to do its pump and it's going to probably be pre-market or after hours. So uh, um, let's just reevaluate. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That is 17 daily candles, not touching the EMA5. It's one of the longest I've seen. Your, your most conservative is EMA5. I suspect we do a nice spike and it goes above it, like probably halfway here, and then eventually go to this ATR4 and then this EMA10 eventually. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. And as always, if you guys want to join uh, the premium Discord uh, where we teach these kind of, kind of strategies, be a part of a community that do this same stuff, click the link down below in the YouTube comments or in the description. It'll say join the premium Discord for my alerts and system. It'll take you to this free chat landing page. Um, please read how to subscribe if you have an android um they are a little different you will have to use your uh computer or phone's browser to subscribe and then after you do that you can use your android just fine iphones are not having uh, issues avoid scammers i'll never message you dm you or trade your accounts but the easiest way to subscribe is just hit day trade alerts and um you'll get access to everything right um you're going to get um, my swing trades and day trades but um, if you hit day trade alerts you get access to everything Head on over to Server Shop, and you'll see the different memberships. Uh, we have Swing Trading and Daily Swing Trading Plus. The Daily Swing Trading Plus is my most highest value. It's 12 bucks, and you get access, like I said, to everything and a strategy that can make you a full-time trader doing day trades where you make money every day. There's trades every day to be made. Um, like You'll be surprised how many uh, trades. And then one of the runners we've had recently ran up 1,800%. Um, that's the power of options and I do futures for day trading using the most biggest volume indexes in the world where they're more consistent using this strategy that I showed you a brief scenario, but think about it in a lower time frame using trend reversals and um, trading with the trend. But yeah, I think you guys will like it. Uh, give it a shot. Um, this The purpose of this Discord is to really teach you guys how to trade instead of just alerting things. I don't want people just exactly copy me because that doesn't work, right? You, you know, you're going to go emotional. You're going to, you're not going to understand why you're in a trade. Like if you're in CETX, you're like sweating it. You're like, man, I got a 30 cent average. I, I, I want to sell for a loss just for this thing to pump, you know, pump like 50%, right? pre market or after hours. And you'd be like, why did I take it? Well, there was no reason to take a loss anywhere in here. If you understood the strategy, understand, you know, how to properly accumulate and you watched my swing trading education videos on how to properly accumulate reversals because swing trading, you don't just put all your money in one ad because um, let's just say you, your first ad is here and you just got caught on this, right? 
Uh, we mentioned in the Discord you shouldn't because they were doing a uh, reverse split and it's going to tank uh, pre market. So let's just say you got here. You should have put all your money all in this one right here. You should have easily been able to get out on this spike and then you come back down and you're back in the game. And that's what I teach. You know, we don't try to get lucky. We under we use a strategy that works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely join the Discord. I think you guys will like it. If you subscribe on your computer, it will be cheaper than on your phone. Because um, if you do it through the app store, it will um, charge you a little extra. It's a really nice server. Um, I've learned a lot from a lot of people in here. And um, I think you will too. But yeah, the ones in color gold have access to everything. The ones in green um, don't. They just have the swing trading. But yeah, that's my analysis. I'm looking forward to this one next week. It's definitely touching the EMA5 next week. So I'll put some bigger positions here. Even if it only makes, you know, 10 to 20%, that's still a good size here. Because now we're getting to the point where, like, we're getting almost to the point where, like, yeah, it's going to hit, you know, an easy 10 to 20% now. And I love these kind of setups where they consolidate. They're boring, but they're very nice because I know this pattern works a lot. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Give this video a like, subscribe, and comment.